Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Welcome to Hogwarts part 12 live stream. So I was just watching this podcast on uh, on Game Pass. Oh, nice. Um, basically, the guy had like this thing where he feels that they could use Game Pass to sell games at an early access. Kind of like Hogwarts 72 hours... Um, exclusive early release like something like that but doing it with game pass making it subscription based i i thought it was great like i thought it was a really good uh a really interesting uh topic like a really interesting way to to sell games 
We still can't get over there, I don't think. No, we cannot get over there. Yeah, like I said, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really, really great. It makes you, it really makes you think, like, you know, if they did that, would that force, like, Sony's premium to, uh, kind of make some type of, uh, change to, to combatant, what that would do for, for game cells, especially on, like, um, you know, third-party consoles, third-party, uh, not third-party consoles, third-party games, kind of like Hogwarts. Oh, there's a chest here. I'll have taken you. Yeah. Oh, freak out! Of course not. What have you done? What have I? No matter how many now, this has become personal. The mighty starter! Oh, look at that! He says he can stop! <laughs> the beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. What have you done? Rebellion. Oh, that's not the chest. There it is. Binding. Nice. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. If I wanted this little attack, I'm in for you. <laughs> No one takes one of my I was here before. I wonder if this is already activated. Nope. The other ones that are broken. There they are. Repair them. I say they, but I only found one. Oh, there's one there. Is that inside? Repair them. Rebellion. Lift here, I wonder. Hmm. 
Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. One thing I'd really like them to make an update on is to not repeat so much dialogue. Am I dead? I am dead. Rebellion. Rebellion. Bombarda. Akio. Indarium Labiosa. That wasn't so difficult. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Rebellion. Okay, jump. These rocks have seen better days. Protego! I shall cast my eyes closer. Best to be sure. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Where's the rest of the boss? Oh, there's one. Rebellion. Somebody else. No more happy. Oh, You're going to regret Rebellion. If you owe me galleys, you can't pay. Rebellion. I 
This place has seen better days. Why do I get stuck with these assignments? I wonder why landing platforms aren't on the map. Eight legs is simply too Hello, Jack. How you doing, buddy? A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Akio Revelio. This is Hogwarts. Didn't come all this way not to get what's ever in this chest. Nothing special. I still didn't complete the two trials here. Rebellion. Another chest in here. Uh, can't wait to sell. Rebellion. 
Just go down the ladder. Omaha, how you doing, B? Hogsmeade. And let's sell. Sometimes I like that you say lead to Hogsmeade. Brigsby Montoya. I like that you have an account. It is wonderful to see you back here. Today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? I like that she sells things or buys things at a higher price. Are you? What would be on the menu for you? See what I did there? Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. <laughs> oh, we got side quest here ah oh, summoner's court match oh. Ooh, the gloves are better makes me happy I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. I want of to course. ask him to get the yeah. hell out of the what way. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Deke is right here. Have you talked to Deke yet? Actually, perhaps another time. that I did two feeding things.
Good, they're eating. <laughs> so, B, I was listening to this guy's podcast on, uh, on YouTube. And, uh, basically, basically, he was saying, like, they should change Game Pass. I know you're not an Xbox person, so you're like, Game Pass doesn't really affect you. But I think it would affect us if they did do it, because they're all in the way. Can't do anything. Because it would probably make the, uh, PlayStation Premium be better. So basically what he was proposing is that instead of releasing the games like straight on to uh, Game Pass that you would just get like an exclusive release like an early release for it alright let me collect this targeting system is ass by the way that'll never happen B That'll never happen. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is now. You gotta think of the, just the cost of like maintaining the online services. So you have to make some type of money from it, right? We have no school on just Monday. We get everything in here? We got everything. Sweet. Did you see they have Star Wars for the monthly game? Like, did you get that yet? Might be able to play Smite too, I'm not sure. Yeah, you definitely should look at it. Yeah. You'll get there, brothers. Keep trucking away. You're designing shirts and stuff like that, right? Uh, 
I really like the offspring for the... the hippogriffs. I think the offspring is really cool. running away from me over here. Eat your scrub. That's interesting. Hopefully it works out, bud. I always find like art or anything has to do with it fun way to make a living. you've brewed. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Jesus. You're not wrong. Hello. Are you here for someone as court? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. She talks smack. Sting me with a billy wig. Good. <laughs> I, 
I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, yep. eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Oh my gosh, just one opponent left for that. Alright, let's do this next one. He's getting away with this. He has another thing coming. Pardon me. Is someone right? pissed right now? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. I did not blackmail any girl. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those oh, bells, no, like no. I haven't talked to her to yet. Or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. I think it's one of his um, ancestors. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly Around more there. help than Adelaide. I actually watched the Harry I Potter series the again. Just inside in the bell tower. They aren't bad. Like, I, I, I actually like the movies. They're not bad at all. Rebellion. I don't know if you have Peacock, but we do, and they're all on Peacock. Must be upstairs. Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Oh, this is kind of annoying. To go. Revelio. Where is the other bell? Revelio. 
Revelio. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I know. Mine are going to be ringing, too. Too hot. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. Ah, oh, stop! We gotta get out of here. I'm not too pleased about this. No. Ah, oh, it stopped. Whew. He said, "Even worse now." It was worse. It was bad. It made me not want to play this game. Hello, Gurgan. How you doing? Oh, boy. I could count on my friend. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Right. I don't know how much this means for me and for me. Yeah, it's a really good game. Phenomenal game. Let's see. Ooh, does that gives us more thing. Let's let's do the black one, male one though. It's not really a good spot for us to tell you to. Why are you gonna go to DTS jail? Off on another adventure, are we? You know, just because we haven't done it in a while, and I'm not sure if you guys seen it, we're, we're gonna do something. Who lived here, I wonder? Go! So I'd fly on these more if they were as fast as the broom. But these things are pretty cool. Look at them. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? She I'm knows ready the to do way. What's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them oh, while I head to the hospital. Stupid Hogsmeade. way to get banned. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. <coughs> and as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. 
<laughs> Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. For, for Drizzle, oh We're my ready. gosh. That's funny. My mother used to say I was lame. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco. Don't say oh, Mrs. Mrs. Rape. Rape too quick. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I uh. cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. I wonder if you went to www.givemeharrypotterjokes.com. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Uh, Besides, okay. I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. This is Rabe. We do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meeting. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want to do Twitch, because it's, it's easier to get started in a way than YouTube. YouTube just pays off in the longer run. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. 
He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the store to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. <coughs> I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Downloads might be. Downloads might. a secret. Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly and Rosie as well. It's a good game. Thank you for telling me. I'm That's gathering what it is. evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like Rebellion. people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Yeah, I think we'll be all right, bud. 
think you may gain more subs than you think from not playing GG7. Dude, don't worry about what that guy thinks. He's a loser. I'd rather you give us a heads up that you can't that you can't go because of something than not say something at all. I think the majority of us don't really... It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. I think the majority of us don't care. About, like, what he says about the situation. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with what Jack is saying. I think it's something that I, I really would like you to somewhere. just kind of like let go of, bro. Rebellion. Oh, it's her wand. That is wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. These docks outside the hog's head and offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one could do so, was only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings, nefarious goings, one on may be occurring in the notoriously shady inn. Revelio. Oh, it's a shady inn we're going in. Don't get unstable anymore. Be strong. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh, is that so? Let me talk to you. It says follow the trail. I haven't even found a trail. Rebellion. Ah, there is a trail leading Matthew to the must cellar. Have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Ashwinder. I would really like Let's a heads up, B. There must be another way forward. Akio. It's Matthew must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. We must hide. Dave and B Fortnite session. I'm in. I robbed every traveling vendor that passed through here. They never seen it coming. 
I shall be shining in Rookwood. They don't seem to care for me in Hogsmeade. Can't say I blame them, what with all I've done there. Everyone in Upper Hogsfield shudders when they see me. You little coward! How does she see me? You are gorgeous! This called. There you go. Expelliarmus. Hey, that's mine. Glacier. <laughs> well, you'll have to do. What are your faults, John? Expelliarmus. Glacier. Defender. Bombarder. <laughs> I just saw how much damage that did. We're, we're, we're changing that there. there. <clears throat> Revelio. There is that too. If you have somebody like in your family that has PS Plus. Like, you can get PS Plus for free if they, you know, would do that for you. Family, friend. I think that's good, B. I think that's really good. Rebellion. You are as dear to me as Augury, whose voice foretells the coming rain. 
You are as loved by me as a corrupt could be, whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have changed me from the very start. You have always been the one. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. You'll be thrilled to have this back. Oh, yeah. Revelio. That's why you check everything. Collectible right there. More chests. More chests. Oh my gosh. Jack, I'm like really big on when people stream Good other idea. games. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I, I'm a gamer at heart. Always will be. Oh no, you're supporting Activision. How dare you? Or is that Blizzard? I think that's Blizzard. That's what I say. Stream it all. Have fun. Do it as a hobby. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over and am certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with, these, with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love, and I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within your grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Revelio. That looks like everything. Let's go to the little black dot. He must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my want for you. Speak to Mr. Ray. I need your help. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my one. Rebellion. It must be brought by something. My wand is somewhere in this room. I can tell. The wand could be in there. Hello, Hamora. Yeah, but that would make Cry is super uh, be glad to combo heavy. I like playing Ray, it. I it's found fun. Your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. 
One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. One never knows. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. This ash wine. Rebellion. to say there's no way that was there five seconds ago I'm prepared for this fight that's not coming she lied to me Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow. What? Nuts, I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next Madden, time, stream Madden. Let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. I'm gonna be a dick. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. I shall turn you into a barrel. Is that it? Oh, Are we good? Alright, there is another quest here. Hello, Hamora. Hello, 
Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. 4,000, bro. Why is it so expensive? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete Madden. these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Who's the team that you follow? Oh, it's all the way down there. You don't follow pro? Interesting. What are you up to now? Can I ask why you prefer college? This looks intriguing. You don't think the NFL plays to win? I mean, they do get paid, but I do think that they play to win for the most part. See, I prefer NFL football over college because there is a lot a lot closer games in the NFL in comparison. In college, there's a ton and ton of shootouts. I'm not necessarily a fan of like a 56 to 10 type of score. There it is. Of course, of course, we both have per uh, opinions. Lumos. Not like uh, trying to change your opinion by no means. Like, please don't think that. I just like to hear like why uh, why people don't like things. That's all. I don't know why. I just it's one of those things I like to to hear. This moment, Charles won't get the best of me. I will definitely check it out, me. This broken down old Bothy used to shelter traveling witches and wizards from the elements over time. However, the surrounding bog began to reclaim the Bothy. The, these days, it only plays host to the odd Doug bog or two.
Yeah, I definitely can agree that the kids that are playing to become pros, you know, they seem to put more effort opposed to, like, the kids that are not putting as much effort. Like, look at all this that's going on here. This looks like it's important. Can I just fly above it? Will it let me? Cannot enter while mounted. Yeah, it will not let me enter this place at all. And I feel like it's part of the quest. Like, I don't want to just clear this out and it be part of a quest. Alright, let's do a different quest. I'm um, Penn State. I mean, that's only like 20 minutes up the road from where I live. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Taking all what the screenshots. What do you shots. think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Well, this didn't go the way we wanted it to. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? <laughs> in the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. 
A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. We definitely don't have two deeks, thank God. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. Yeah, so we could get a Niddle King or a Niddle Queen. And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. So your friend I'll let Phil you know what I find. is playing as a girl? The music room is so disrupted with all those bells ringing again. Nice, nice, nice. Days are over. Revelio. Your poaching days are over. Go Pringles, potatoes, Doritos. I hate finding the lights thing, like, ugh, this one's played out a little bit. Lumos. Go Pringles. That's that. Settled. There's so much we need to do. Ugh. 
71%. What do we need to find? We need to find 12 more of these. Okay. I'll be back, B. I gotta go get Pringos and potatoes.
I'm back. Sorry about that. I know this is not racing prime, I know. He has a sad face. Uh-oh, my kitten is awake. He's on the prowl. Alright, so this quest isn't like necessarily up yet, so let's go back to Hogwarts. Grief and Vengeance. Locate that real quick. I like the name of this, Grief and Vengeance. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Whoa, check this out. That is pretty dope. I didn't see this yet. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Uh, I am not avoiding racing. Avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother Raise me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. <laughs> Your father sounds exceptional. 
He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Uh -oh. So, before we do all that fun stuff, let's go here, identify. I love how you guys are trying to goat me to play right now. Oop. We got new gear. Put on our face. <laughs> Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Y'all are trying right now. Alright, go to Hogsmeade. And we're gonna sell. I tell you what, I really do need a haircut. It's bad. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Back up to 5k. Nice. Beautiful. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travel. Alright, let's find this third trial, which hopefully is where I think it is. The map chamber. Wait, I think I can access the map chamber here. Yep. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. Oh my the gosh, we gotta get rid of those glasses. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <laughs> oh, most troubling. Are these repositories <coughs> like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. 
I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Well, first things first. Get rid of these goofy looking glasses. There we go. And then let's go here. Can't track the quest yet. What's up, kitten? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. There we go. Now we can go. I wonder if you guys can hear my kitten purring. He's really close to the mic right now. Oh, this map. Harry Mullet. <laughs> Get away from my tea, dude. <laughs> Grove Street Potter. Oh, boy. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. <laughs> That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? and take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Well, we're gonna look like <laughs> Professor Black. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. 
She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. No, I've gone plenty of days without playing before and didn't lose any rank. And even if we did, we'll just get it right back. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rock. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. This is quite funny. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> Do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? Uh, sir! I haven't been anywhere near Honey Dukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Well, there's one for my diary. I can't do no magic right now. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Out of my way, children. Professor Black, how are you? Mr. Gaunt, <clears throat> where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. This is ah, hilarious. Yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. This is great. Some? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Professor. A word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I've a 
good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Master, and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. Well, they're as good as invisible to me, sir. Rotten little extortionist holding my diary hostage. What was that, Broom? Uh, nothing, sir. <laughs> Sp speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? There she is. There she is, B. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How... how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades, Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor This is very funny dialogue. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. as hard a worker as any house elf. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master no, he does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. <laughs> uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, 
Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> Toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Ugh. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ah, uh. uh. <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Uh. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Alohomora. Yes, apologies, potion. Should be giving that to every GT7 racer. Rebellion. I guess this is the closest one we're at. I've never been in this office. Hello, Harmoria. <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, he sounds like me after a good eatings. Everybody wants to see Hermione. Is Hermione's ev is Hermione everyone's favorite witch? Rebellion. Never been up here. We've never been up here. Wait, maybe we have been up here. There is a thing here. Nice what? to see you, my young friend. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Dinging away. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio.
Professor Hackett. As discussed, I have corresponded with my goblin acquaintances at Green Gox. All have condemned Ranrock's actions, and some have privately considered that his motives may not be what they seem. From what I've heard of his treatments towards others of his own kind, those who refuse to join his ranks, I am inclined to agree with our friends at the bank. I will let you know what, I, what more I hear. Suffice it to say that, for now, we must remain vigilant. Rebellio. We find this little page. Thank you. I just love that I'm just going around robbing everybody in the school. Rebellion. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lumos. I wonder where that could be. Revelio. Where are you at? There's the Buddha fly. You, come with me. Oh boy, just getting roasted. I'll start racing again when I get a hundred subs, huh? Huh? See what I did there? Rebellion. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. Another one. My channel is based off playthroughs and GT7B. It's not one or the other, it's both. All the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. I guess I have to go over there. Alohomora. Alohomora. Yeah, he's just picking. He's okay. Everything is wrong when you are not racing. Rebellion. One hundred subs and I will race. I think it's only fair. The children have been asking about your return. Belvina, in particular, chooses to do so each day at breakfast and is engulfed in a sulk when I remind her that you are ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phineas rarely send me an owl, although 
When they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you're doing for Hogwarts. Having one's father as headmaster is a tremendous honor. Merlin helped me. Cygnus is now crawling and follows Octra... I can't even say these names. About like an unwelcome shadow. Is begging for an invisibility potion and frankly I can't blame him. I'd be tempted to brew one if it weren't for the internal sniveling that Cygnus would regale me with. Perhaps we shall see you during the next school holiday, but please don't feel any obligation we can manage. Ursula. Rebellion. I'll have a good stream, B. I will stop by and tell you to stream Death Stranding. <laughs> Hello, Hamora. That's great. No, we need him to stream the uh, Death Stranding stream. Hello, Hamora. Where is there a sheet of paper? Show me sheet. skip this chest ah there we go too it is a collectible there it is finally this enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means by which students would be placed into one of the four schoolhouses skilled at legilimency I don't fucking know the sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Rebellion. Oh my gosh, there's still another one somewhere. See you, buddy. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Rebellion. That must be the pedestal. Let me read that. Rebellion. This way. This way. This way. There's a room above me. How do I get to you?
paper on the floor in the top room, he says. Regarding your letter dated the 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admissions process at Hogwarts. Revelio. There's a secret somewhere here. It is. No attacking the tower. You must leave the computer alone. Get a kitten, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. This is you cool. You shall looking. be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Do not move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Yo, how cool is this? It's like I'm playing in a sketched video game. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Beautiful, actually. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. when I could. I'd be free by now. This is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in a game. Hands down. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Time is just right. I see a staircase straight ahead. Be able to find me if I go up there. I 
Best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Revelio. my chance. Graham, how you doing, bud? Stuck here. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Interesting. This is so amazing this to look at. This is the way at. forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. But well, this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay. It's the Elder Wand. And I guarantee you the next thing we're going to be looking for is the Resurrection Stone. Such power. 
Defender. Bombarder. Depulsor. Revelio. Depulsor. It's only going to let me use these. Ones. Bombarder. This is so damn cool. one more enemy or two more enemies to use the uh, ancient magic on. Revelio. tried. Rebellion. I'd have to say, that's gotta be... Can I even look at it right now? Because we're really close. Where is the enemies? No, that's Death Mongrels. It doesn't tell us.
There's so many of these. Got no health potions left. <laughs> We're doing the boss walk. Resurrection Stone. You are far from finished. Past 
through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's... Oh, poor Neve. Let us always... We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw can... what I did for my father. Oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. How did she gain power from it? 
How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Nice. <clears throat> we most certainly are going to have to end the stream here. Off on another adventure. Assuming we got more side quests. Prepare for your OLS. Phoenix Rising. Oh. I need Bombarda for this. All right. Well, we're gonna end the. We're going to end the stream. I'll see you on later tonight. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny, Prime. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy the rest of your days.